If your air conditioning isn't working, make sure you check your filters. Jeez. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Heading on this service call right now, we have an existing client, central air conditioning system not working. Now, I'm just gonna give you a heads up. They're notorious for a couple things, not necessarily in this order. Number one, not really being there or being available to speak to the technician when they arrive to, to give us more insight of what's going on and what prompted the call for service. Or number two, and this happens all the time to just regular people as well, um, filters are beyond dirty. Here we go. Hi. Oh, you again? Yes. Now you come to my home. I didn't know it was your home. Yeah. So, but when my wife told me five doctors, so you know. Okay, what's wrong? Air so conditioning yeah, not working. Where? Second, yes? second floor. Is dead. And when I look at the filter there, yes. I think it's completely dead. I don't know what is the issue, but. <coughs> when was. Uh... You see the filter? Yeah, it's filthy. Yes. You gotta take that out. Yeah. You have a new one? No. Okay. You don't have uh, those filters? No, I would need a, uh, a tractor trailer to stock every size filter they make. Oh, I see. <laughs> All right, why is it at the top and not at the bottom? <clears throat> Here, take that. Maybe clean that. This is a, a Picasso. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> What's more impressive is that I'm on top of this ladder next to a staircase, next to another staircase. Yeah. All right, you have a new filter? It's 24 by 24 by one? No. Maybe, no? Yeah. See? We've got these multi-million dollar houses and no filters. <laughs> All right, got this pain. Uh, let's see. 48,000 BTUs, four tons. If you put your ear up to it, the contactor's humming. Let's see. Yeah, that disconnect is in there. Let's take off the cover and see what's going on in there. Contactors pulled in. Capacitor looks okay. Wonder if we got voltage here. Alright. L2 and L1. Nothing. And to ground. Nothing. That one right there. See it's in the middle? Yeah. This is on, that's on, on. Oh, I see. So we gotta turn it off. Yeah. And then we turn it back on. So the only thing I did, I, I pulled the disconnect outside. Mm. So now we're gonna see what happens when I plug it back in. 
All right. Well, let's see what happens. Eighty two point six amps when started up. Right now, thirteen point two, thirteen, twelve point nine. No. The breaker was tripped. If the breaker was in the off position, that means someone actually physically turns it from off on to off. When it's in the middle, the only way it can get there is if it senses an over over amperage or over current, which would put it in the trip position and giving it no power. So what I did here, I made sure that when a unit turned on, that it's using not more than what it should when it starts up. If you look at the plate, it tells me. 96 LRIs. So you, you're within that. You're with the, within the rating. So why did it happen? It's quite possible. It's very quite possible that the clogged filter caused the system to freeze up, which then causes the compressor to overheat, use too much current, too much amperage, and it blew the breaker. You're lucky because normally when you have a dirty filter the way you have it, you'll kill the compressor. Like kill it. Like it doesn't turn back on again. And it trips the breaker every single time you tell it to turn on. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're in the Long Island, New York City metropolitan area, and you need a plumbing and HVAC professional that's reliable, courteous, shows up on time, and most importantly, has respect for you and your property, give me a call at 516-348-6300, based here in Whitmere, New York, and we service Queens, Nassau County, and parts of Suffolk. Looking forward to your call. You can also book a service call online. Save time, book online at pipedoc.net. Thanks again. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.